Welcome back first grade. We have been practicing with tens and ones and we're gonna continue that today. Okay. Let's do a little bit of review about adding tens together. Okay. So if I have this equation, if I have 50 plus 20, well, if I have 50, that means I have five tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So here are my five tens plus 20. 20 is the same as two tens, 10, 20. So I have two tens. Okay, so how much do I have all together? Well, look at the tens. I have five tens plus two tens, five, six, seven. So I have seven tens, which is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. 70, okay. Now, what if I have six tens over here? So that's 60. How many tens do I have now? I have six tens for 60. 20 is two tens. How many tens do I have all together? Well, six plus two is eight. Eight tens, I don't have any ones. Eight tens is the same as 80. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Okay, you guys know how to do this. We're just reviewing how to add our tens. Okay, well now let's add in some ones. So I still have my six tens over here, but now I'm gonna add one, two, three ones. I'm gonna scoot this 20 over a little bit, so you can see. So I have six tens, that didn't change, but now I don't have zero ones. Now I have three ones, one, two, three. Okay but we're still just gonna put our ones together and our tens together, okay? Did our ones, do we have any ones over here? Nope. We just have three ones all together of our ones. So I have three ones, and then how many tens do I have? Well, we're just looking at the tens. I have six over here, six tens. Over here I have two tens. What is six plus two? We just did that, eight tens. So we have 83. We're adding our, we're putting our tens together and we're keeping our ones together. All together we have eight tens and three ones. All right, let's try a different one. What if I have Forty-two, so I have four tens and two ones, plus three more tens. That would be 10, 20, 30. Three tens and no ones, so we have to put our zero there. What is that gonna equal? Well, I'm gonna look at my ones first. I only have two ones, everything else is a 10. So I have two ones, how many tens do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have four tens over here plus three tens over here. Four plus three is seven. So all together we have 72. Seven tens and two ones. Okay. Now what we were practicing last week and this week is another way to write this would be to put them on top of each other. So let's see if we get the same answer. 42, and I'm gonna put 30 right underneath it. Three tens, keep your tens together, and my zero ones. My plus sign goes on the left-hand side, and then this is my equal sign, okay? 42 plus 30. Now, I'm always gonna start with my ones, because like we talked about in the last lesson, we might have too many ones and have to make it into a 10. And we'll keep talking about that. But let's just practice this again, putting them on top. Two plus zero, so two ones plus no more ones equals two. 
Now let's do our tens. Four tens plus three tens. How many tens do we have all together? Seven. Seventy-two. Did we get the same answer? Yes. This is just another way to write it on top of each other with your ones together and your tens together. Okay. So what I'm going to have you do today is I would like you to do workbook pages 133 and 134. Please do both of those workbook pages and then we will do, actually, yep, actually I'm going to have you do 135 and 136 too. Let's do all four of those pages. So 133 through 136. Do all four of those pages for next time. And then tomorrow we'll do a different lesson. Okay? All right. See you soon.